Hello everyone and very welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angelica. Today I'm gonna do another Would I Buy It Again video. I have, I don't know, do I have three up already? This is fourth, I don't know. I like to do them, it's quite fun. This was created by Dolly Mama Beauties. I will leave her channel down below and check her out. She loves eyeshadow palettes, colorful makeup. So basically I am going to pick out five eyeshadow palettes in my collection and I'm gonna tell you guys if these five palettes would be released today if I would buy them today because we never know because I have bought these palettes and it could be a long time ago and I had my reasons but maybe that has changed now maybe I changed my style maybe I'm gonna tell you guys what I think about them right now and if I would buy them it's quite fun to bring out some palettes in my collection and talk about them so I hope you are excited guys and if this is the first time here very welcome this channel is almost all about makeup I do makeup content here I do vlogs I do fashion related videos I post three videos a week so if you enjoy that I would love to have you here so don't forget to subscribe if you you want that of course and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it but let's go ahead and get started before i start i will just tell you i filmed this look this will be up probably on friday i i'm doing a first impression with the color pop feeling bubbly palette i'm just going to show you stunning uh neutral palette so yeah that will be up on friday i suppose but let's talk about eyeshadow palette so i have five eyeshadow palettes here. I usually pick five. I think that is a good number. <laughs> I don't know why. Not too many, not too less. So I'm going to tell you if I would buy them if they were released today. So the first one I have today is the Main Squeeze from Colourpop. This was, I don't know when it was released. It was such a long time ago. They had these nine pan monochromatic palettes. This was the red one, as you can see. And I love red eyeshadows. I do, uh, but I will tell you this. Would I buy this today if it were released? No, I wouldn't. Because what I realized with this palette is I don't use this palette. <laughs> That's what I realized. I mean, I have reds in other palettes that maybe combines reds and pinks or reds and browns. I don't know. I don't actually grab this palette when I want to do a red look. And that's crazy because this is a red palette, but it's something about it and I feel like, I don't know. I don't know what it is. It is a lot of reds here. So maybe it feels like when I open it up, what am I going to do? Maybe I don't want to do a full red eye look. Maybe I want to have red, but I want to include maybe pink, maybe something else. I don't know, another color. And I feel like when you open this up, it is like red. So I feel like maybe that's why I don't feel that inspired to use it, maybe. But it is a good palette, but <laughs> I don't use it, unfortunately. And I love the dark red here. I love the bright red here. It's nothing wrong with it, but I wouldn't buy it today if it was released. I do love the packaging here. <laughs> I do love watermelon, so. Okay, so I have three Colourpop palettes here, so maybe we should take these first. So next up, we have this one from Colourpop. This is the California Love. I think you still can get it. And this is how it looks. This is a warm toned neutral palette. And I am all into neutrals right now. I do love colors, but I do love neutrals. So, and if I think about a warm neutral palette in my collection, I think immediately about this one and I bring it out from time to time because I do love these kinds of shades. So definitely I would buy this again. If I didn't have this one and this was released, this was this is something that I really want in my collection because I feel like this is a complete, completed like warm palette because you have dark shades, you have light shades, mid-tones, you have this orange that is beautiful, you have this like kind of super shock shadow, it's super sparkly and beautiful on the eyes, some gold, some coppery shades, absolutely beautiful and 
yeah, I would definitely buy this again. The only thing, I don't use the pressed glitter here, but I mean, there are so many other shades that I use and that I love, so I would definitely, definitely buy this one again. So the last ColourPop palette I found <laughs> that I wanted to talk about is this one. This is also the monochromatic series, the nine pan. This is the Just My Luck, and this is, as you can see, the green one. This is how the color story looks like, and it is a little bit weird, this color story, I feel like, because for me, there is a lot of minty shades here that I feel like, like cool tone minty shades. And then you have this lime green that I absolutely love, by the way. And then you have these kind of shades that these are the ones I love, these three, like brownish, uh, golden, olive tones, and this lime. These more cool tone are not my jam. I don't think it looks good on me. I can pull off a minty shade, but I do have the Mint to Be palette from Colourpop, so if I want mint, I go that way. I mean, I wouldn't pick up this one for a minty shade, and I wouldn't put, like, these are not my, my colors. Uh, for me personally, that I feel like it looks good on me, or I feel like I look like. So no, I would not buy this again. Definitely not. But I knew when I bought it, I wanted to get it because I wanted to get every of these like monochromatic palettes that Colourpop released. So I have them all, but <laughs> I that was something like a collector's thing, I believe. And I bought a lot of makeup at that time. And I think I bought I bought so many eyeshadow palettes and as I said, I wanted to have all these monochromatic ones. So I wanted to test them out and have them in my collection, but no, I wouldn't buy this one again. Now we have two palettes left. Uh, I took out this one. This is a Poppy Cosmetics and this is the Neon Drip palette. This is a really, really fun palette actually. Uh, I'm gonna open it up so you can see. I mean, it's super bright, guys. It is like neons. So yeah, it says like Neon Drip. So, yeah, this is a really cool palette with some super bright shades in neon. It's mattes and it's shimmers. And, yeah, this was a fun palette and I have used it. But now these days, I don't go for these kind of neon -y shades anymore. I can pop some of these in combining them with other palettes, like more neutrals or toned down colors and have a pop, but I would never do like a full look with all these, uh, all these shades, I mean, just these in this palette. I would not do that, but I feel like it's a fun palette. It's I'm absolutely happy I have it in my collection. And now when I see it, I actually want to bring it out. I mean, this shade is amazing. This one is so cool. I can see myself have this one in the inner corner and do stuff like that. But if I would buy it again, the answer would be no. I wouldn't buy it if I saw it released today because I don't feel like I need it. If you know what I mean, I have like pops of neons in my collection, but this is a whole palette with these kind of shades. And it's a fun palette. I will never like declutter it because I feel like I can use it, but I would never buy it again if it was released today. Okay, next up we have Odensai. This is the uh, Norns eyeshadow palette. And just look at this front. I mean, this is so, so beautiful, guys. I love um, Udensai. I love their formula. I love their color store. I love their artwork. I mean, they put so much effort to like this aesthetic pleasing <laughs> like uh, packaging. And it is a Swedish indie brand and I'm from Sweden. So it's dear to my heart that they have this success. Um, it makes me so happy. I mean, and this is the color story. This I was a little bit torn about. Would I buy it again or not? I was thinking and thinking and thinking because same here. I don't use this that much <laughs> to be totally honest. And when I look at it, I feel like I should use it because it's beautiful. I love that it has some dark shades here that is actually a little bit dark leaning and it has this cool pop of colors. 
uh, that I feel like it's so, so beautiful. And I know this one is amazing, the green one and the orange and also these like bluish, purpley, turquoisey shades. I'm not all into blue though, so I know they're, I mean, maybe I'm not gonna use the blue that much, but we have other shades here that is actually very, very pretty. But it is a color story that I feel like I need to pull in another palette, especially the mattes, because take a look at the mattes, they are quite dark. I mean, this one, I don't know why this is here, because this is a really interesting shade, but <laughs> like a grayish light shade. I don't feel like I will use this one, and I don't feel like there is a light matte here that goes with the other dark matte shades here, so I would pull another palette to use this, and that's maybe why I haven't used it. I haven't thought about this one that much, but when I open it up, I feel like, yeah, I like it, but do I like it that much that I would buy it again? I have actually not decided. I would, I was going to say I am going to buy this again if they were released today, but now when I look at it, I don't know, guys, if I would. I don't know if I would. Maybe I would because it is very interesting color story and it inspires me when I look at it. So probably I would buy it again, but it's not like 100% like, yeah, I definitely would. I would consider it. So probably I would buy it again, but it's a special palette. I don't know. Do you have this one? Do you like it? I mean, I need to use it more, I feel like. There are some beautiful shimmers here, but I think the mattes are the thing. If it would be a little better mattes in here uh, that goes together a little bit better, I would actually be a little more happier with this palette. Because the darks, the dark mattes are really great, but you need some lighter mattes as well that goes with these three mattes here. But yeah. That was the last palette, guys. <laughs> that was the last palette. I think this is super fun to do. Talk about the palettes I have in my collection and tell you guys if I would buy it again. And if you have enjoyed this video, as I said, give it a thumbs up and I see you in my next video. Take care, guys. Bye.